What is going on guys? It's Solution here. We're back in 2K24. I'm going to be showing you guys my build. This is the first build I ended up upgrading. I'm going to be showing you guys my point guard build today. We've got the build name two-way floor spacing slasher. I think the stats are really well-rounded. As you guys can see, I'm a 92 overall so I can finally get some gameplay for you guys. I haven't been able to get a lot of gameplay because I had a PC problem. My computer's been in repair for a while but we finally got it all back so streams are going to be starting up again. We're going to have weekly streams, weekly videos. Everything's going to go back to normal. So yeah guys, just really excited to start grinding more and yeah, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into the build video. All right guys, so like I said, we did end up going with a point guard build for the height. We left it at 6'3", the weight we put all the way up to 209. Um, and the wingspan we maxed out at seven foot. So you do have a really long wingspan. You do get really good perimeter defense on this build. So I want to have a really high wingspan just to help out with the passing lanes and overall just defense in general. Let's jump right into the stats here. For the close shot, we put this up to a 51, nothing crazy. You don't really need that on a point guard build. But the driving layup, we put this up to a 76. You don't get that many layup packages with the 76 rating. If that's something you're concerned with, you could put it up a little higher. I think the only ones you get is like Magic Johnson, Jason Williams. Of course, you'll be able to get like default swing and things like that. But in terms of players, I think you only get Magic, Jason Williams, and someone else. I can't remember. They don't look too great i'll still be trying them out just to see if they're usable but yeah if that's something you're concerned with you could put it up um i kept it at a 76 just so we can get that gold scooper and silver acrobat now for the dunk we put this up to an 82 now i didn't go any higher than that you don't get any contact dunks with this build you also don't get posterizer um as you can see posterizer you need a 73 driving dunk and a 70 vertical so it can get posterizer but i don't put my vertical up to a 70 on this build i just didn't feel that bronze posterizer was super necessary having my dunk at an 82 i do get silver slithery finisher so that's why i have it at an 82 standing dunk and post control i didn't touch at all on a 60 guard it's not really needed for the mid-range and three-point shot mid-range i put this up to a 65 so it's not too high there and a three-point shot we put up to an 80. now i know you guys might think an 80 three-point shot is a little low for a point guard build and it is but for how well-rounded the rest of the build is i couldn't put this any higher now having it at an 80 you'll be able to green no problem if you know your jump shot shooting is a little different in this game so you really need to take the time and learn your jump shot play around with the settings change your jump shot cue really focus in it and learn your jump shot because you're going to be frustrated in the beginning i know i was you know i'm really starting to get my jump shot down now but in the beginning it was really hard once you get your badges and you learn your jump shot you'll have no problem greening from three and even mid-range at a 65 if you're open you'll be able to hit it free throw we put this up to a 71 just so we can get the free points badge um i wanted to have a decent free throw because i do play 5v5 all right onto the playmaking for the pass accuracy we are a point guard so i put this up to an 80 realistically i would like to get it higher as a point guard you do want it to be higher i would love to be able to get to an 87 to get bail out because you do throw a lot of passes out of bounds if you try to pass out of a shot but for this build i left my pass at an 80 ball handle we put this all the way up to a 92 so we can lock some really good dribble moves and badges as well if you go up to a 93 you do get hall of fame ankle breaker and gold killer combo so if that's something you're interested in you could put it up one speed ball i ended up putting to an 83 you really don't want to go any lower than that because this is going to unlock a bunch of gold badges badges like blow by hyperdrive speed booster so you want to have this to at least an 83 of course if you can go higher go for it but we have an 83 here now to the defensive category you're going to see this build gets really good defense interior defense we put to a 35 you don't need anything crazy there if you play the contest in the paint you will make the miss just by putting your hands up and jumping perimeter defense we put this all the way up to a 94 so really high perimeter defense on this point guard build we're gonna get hall of fame challenger hall of fame ankle braces so this build is like a mini lock as well for the steel we put this to an 85 this is gonna allow us to get all the silver steel badges we're gonna get silver gloves silver interceptor and silver right stick ripper so perimeter defense and steel really good on this point guard build now i didn't upgrade the block at all i was really debating if to try to get bronze chase down artist you know if a guard gets by me i could try to chase down and get the block the way i look at it is you have really good perimeter defense and steel so it's gonna be hard for guards to get by you in general but even if they do you'll have your center in the paint you'll have your lock that can switch over and try to get that block for you and get the contest you really just have to have the right teammates around you to play to your weaknesses offensive rebound we didn't touch defensive rebound left at 49 now for the speed we put this to an 84 acceleration is definitely more important on a point guard build we ended up macking this out at an 88 as you guys can see all the gold badges are going to pop up now gold blow by gold speed booster gold fast feet now for the strength you don't want to leave this out even though you're a point guard build strength is tied to clamps so you want to put this up we have it at a 55 so we're going to get gold clamps on this build so as you guys can see there's a lot this build can do gold clamps is really nice on this build vertical we left at a 62 it is tied to the 82 driving dunk so again if you want bronze posterizer put it up to a 70 and the rest we're going to max out at stamina at a 99 now the reason we have stamina maxed out at a 99 i know most people go like 96 97 if we put it up to a 99 we'll get an extra two hall of fame badges in the defensive category get hall of fame 94 feet and hall of fame workhorse okay so this is my finished build let me know in the comments down below what you guys think even with the 82 dunk you're still gonna be able to get some nice dunk packages i think you get anthony edwards which has some nice animations you get demar Derozan, rosen luka Doncic. so you still get some dunk packages even though you can't get contact dunks you still get some nice player animations and playmaking and defense is where this build really excels let's hit continue here let's get to our build name let's see what we get for shades all right so we get kenny smith De'Aaron fox and drew holiday some pretty cool shades and we get the build name as two-way floor spacing slasher so yeah guys this is my first build of 2k24 let me know what you guys think in the comments down below pretty happy with it i think it's pretty solid all around like i said i'm sorry for the lack of gameplay i just got my pc fixed so we're gonna be able to get everything back to normal weekly streams weekly videos and yeah guys i appreciate all the support on my previous build videos check them out if you missed them like and sub if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys in the next one peace